Hey everyone! We're Sweet Ruka and we're here to sail around the world via Cape Horn and the Cape of Good Hope. I'm Kate and this is Curtis and Roxy the dog. We're racers turned cruisers and we are ready to do some serious sailing. So click subscribe and come along for the ride. There's Sweet Ruka right there. Here we are. The sunsets in St. George's did not disappoint. The plan was to stay in Grenada and watch to see which countries would open up and allow sailing vessels to enter their ports. Our goal is to get around the world after all, but first, we headed to a musty spot with the dinghy a little further north up the coastline. It was time to visit the world's first underwater sculpture park. We finished up the snorkel with a little beach yoga. Or I tried anyway. <laughs> it was time to move on from the busyness of St. George's Bay to the serene seclusion of Egmont Bay. We decided to go with our new friends from Dragonfly, Kumatu, and the Kraken to enjoy the flat waters and hang out in this beautiful hurricane hole. We motored straight into the wind and waves to get to the southeasternmost bay of Grenada. The fun has arrived! Oh, that's them, Kurt! Hey, we're here in Port Egmont today. This is one of Grenada's best hurricane holes. As you can see behind me, it's all surrounded except for a very small entranceway by uh, big hills. It's a nice little place. We can understand why people would want to buy a house and live on this little pond, uh, saltwater pond off of the ocean. We were fairly secluded, so it was time to get rowdy with our new friends. We started out with some karaoke on Dragonfly, and I'll save your ears from what we consider to be beautiful singing, although I'm sure the bay would say otherwise. The night concluded with mini snacks and some raunchy card games. The 
fun couldn't go on forever as we had scheduled an early dive with Dragonfly for the next day. It was time to go diving with Scuba Tech. Evelyn, who is a Hall of Fame diver, was taking us to an old Coast Guard wreck named Tyrrell Bay to play around on. We had seen the episode of when SV Delos was there for the sinking of the Coast Guard ship in 2018. It looked like an underwater playground, so we just had to check it out. We had played, and we had played hard, but it was time for even more fun. Boat work fun, and some chores. Just doing a bit of laundry today, and uh, it's a beautiful, gorgeous day for it. So also did some paddleboard repairs and hoping that they stick this time. See something out of the ordinary? How about some wires dangling? <laughs> see if we can see what Kurt's up to. We are adding some solar today onto the Dodger. So there's not a lot over here, but it's just really peaceful and you can really focus and get some work done. There's a little bit of construction going on in some of these houses in the background, but really we're able to just focus on ourselves, relax. Yeah, we really love it here in Egmont. We've already got some solar in the back. Tricked all the wiring for. Now we're gonna get more solar up here in the front. The solar was really flying high with this new removable panel. Lots of battery power to fuel the computers and refrigerator that was already on its last leg. It was awesome watching those numbers jump up on the gauge. The sun was short-lived as a storm started to roll through. We had nearly dodged a few tropical storms on our way down here, and this seemed like a mini one whipping through the anchorage. because I know you're single-handed today. We're supposed to go to lunch with our friends today and they're waiting for the taxi right now, but uh, they're probably going to be a little late picking us up because they're also waiting inside their boat before they run out to the taxi because it is pouring. We'll see. It could be a fun beach day still. Oh, let's, <laughs> let's go see what the radar says, huh? Yeah, let's take a look. Aha. Ooh, look at that. That's north of us, so it shows, right? Yeah. Maybe the bottom hasn't just loaded yet or what? I'm guessing. That was a close one. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Hey, there's 
there's more coming. Oh my God, guys. So this storm is actually pretty close. I just saw the lightning hit outside of the window. Basically, lightning struck right up there. Oh, you can maybe see the flashes around the boat right now. But literally less than a quarter mile from us, right at the end of that point. Whew. What do you think about that, Kate? It uh, makes your heart race. You're nervous for the boat and maybe there's some electricity in the air. <laughs> so should be an interesting day full of squalls and whew, there's some flashes oh, right there. See it. We'll see if we decide to venture off the boat or not here. Roxy, what do you think, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Roxy does pretty good with storms, actually. We're fairly lucky. And she gets a little bit nervous, I think, right now. She's a little bit nervous with the... Oh, there was one right there. Uh, thunder and lightning so close. <laughs> but uh, in general, she stays calm. And maybe just a little bit of panting, but she's probably more calm than us sometimes. <laughs> so, you know, just laying down now. Good girl. Ooh, you're wet. water come in to the v-birth through the vent thing let's look the vent? Oh. because i had it like to vent i didn't think it was gonna how to work pretty good oh, maybe nice. it'll... yeah i don't feel anything actually dry bed tonight i hope so <laughs> wow babe well everybody right there that means that our water tanks are full <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. Full water tanks, fresh rainwater. Mmm. When the rain finally let up, we made it back to the rainforest for one more waterfall. Mandy and Joe from Kuma 2 were getting ready to leave to return for their charter season. They had one special request for our driver. You'll see what I mean. Waterfalls here in Grenada. It's much cooler this high up on the island in the mountains. And we're just enjoying hanging out with our friends today. Beautiful. We wanted to go where the locals go, so we asked our driver to take us there. He wanted to make sure it was okay to bring out-of-towners to the local barbecue, as this is the main meal for some people on the block. He called to make sure there was enough to go around, and lucky for us, there was. Okay, all right. We got some chicken on the side of the road in Grenada. What do you think, Kate? Oh, it's so good. How's the chicken? Fried chicken with barbecue sauce and cooler beers. Can't go wrong. <laughs> Cooler beers, I like it. Next stop was to learn dominoes with the locals. It can get pretty competitive. This was not your average tour so then, for sure. No, I've been reading five me too. Well, five now me too. So did you just win the game? Right. Beginner's luck, what can I say? Not anymore. <laughs> 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 right. 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 The beginner's luck champion was me after all. My dad would be proud to know his luck still runs through my genes. It was time for Kuma 2 to leave the fun party anchorage of Agma and return to the USVI to do some chartering. We said our goodbyes and even Roxy got in on the fun too. <laughs> Well, Roxy sure uh, wanted to give him a good send-off. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know. Are your friends are leaving? Oh. Oh. As is with the cruising life, we leave our family and friends behind, but we find new friends in every place we go, even if just for a short while. All right, we just said goodbye to our friends on Kuma 2. They are headed up north to go do some chartering. They're going back to the USVI. So time to move on, and we say goodbye to our friends. Actually, we say until next time. It was the end of a chapter for our friends, but the start of a new one for us here on Sweet Ruka. Our dreams of an Atlantic crossing felt still in reach, but how soon would it be before we could achieve that goal? Stay tuned to find out.